So there's actually two things we're going to be discussing when it comes to facial hair and body hair and all that stuff and TRT. What's up TRT community? Let's help each other. So if you're thinking about getting on TRT, know this, there could be a chance that you can grow one of these a bit better and there's probably also a chance that you could grow a bit more all over a bit better. But before I get into that, let's talk about this. This video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. They offer professional, affordable, and discreet at-home health testing kits. They're very easy to use. I've used them multiple times. If you want to see the review that I did about those, you can look at that video right up there. And then also, if you want to just link right to them in the description below or in the pinned comment. Thanks. Let's get checked. All right. Well, I actually got some help with this video because recently I put out a survey where I asked you all if you've been on TRT for at least a year, have you seen a change in the thickness of your body hair or facial hair? 241 of you participated. Thank you very much. And as you see there, 62% of you said, yes, I have seen a difference. And 38% of you said, nope, not me. Well, I got to tell you though, when I did that survey, I was actually really happy because I have seen a thickening in my facial hair. I have seen a thickening in my body hair too, unfortunately. And so I realized <laughs> I wasn't alone. <gasps> you are not alone. You are not alone. I am here with you. I am here with you. Are you done? <laughs> are you done? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Sheesh. Well, listen, I want us to consider something. Because, yeah, it made me feel better that I wasn't alone. But we need to talk about two different things. Though. I want to talk about TRT, and I also want to talk about time. And I'll explain what I mean with the time part. But obviously there's about a 62% chance that you will see thickening in your facial hair, thickening in your body hair if you get on TRT. However, it's not a guarantee because think about this. Think about back... You can do it, Cohen. Think about back when you were a teenager, okay? We know that sometime between the age of 18 and the age of 20-ish, that's when our testosterone peaks in our system. When everything's working normally, it's going to be the highest it's ever going to be in your life. And then it's going to gradually go down by, I think, 1% per year. I think that's what's considered normal, if I'm not mistaken. So compare your face and your chest hair and all that back to when you were a teenager. Was your facial hair as thick as it is now? Was your chest hair or stomach hair or whatever hair as thick as it is now back when you were 18, 19, 20? Well, probably not. I knew very few guys that could grow a beard back when I was in high school, and I definitely couldn't yet. I could grow a goatee, and I thought I was all cool when I had that. Check me out. But no. So there's not always a direct correlation between massive amounts of testosterone and facial hair, body hair, is there? That's why I'm bringing up time. I don't know if you've ever done this. If you've ever looked for anything related to beards on YouTube. You know that YouTube picks up on that and they're gonna start recommending beard commercials to you and things like that. If that's the case with you, you've seen this guy. I've seen him. He is a beard model. Who doesn't want a beard like that guy? I do. I think it's really cool looking, frankly. I heard him say once that he was not able to grow a beard like that until he was in his 40s. And the truth is for me, I can remember back when I was in my 20s, I could grow a goatee and I could grow the mustache, but it didn't connect. Like like right here, you know, right here at the corners of my mouth, it didn't connect and that always bugged me. So I just never grew that. I call it a padlock. I don't know what you call it. I, we call it a padlock because it's sort of shaped like a, like a padlock. But once I got into my 30s, I did start growing enough whiskers right there for that to kind of connect. However, I had like two circles right here that would hardly ever grow any whiskers. So I was just like, eh, I've always wanted a beard, but I can't grow one. So as I've gotten older and then also as I've gotten on TRT, I did something kind of during the whole pandemic when we were locked down. I sported the padlock and I said, you know, I'm just going to shave it all and I'm going to go back to a clean face and then start over. 
actually, here's some, <laughs> here's what I did, because I shaved it off in phases, so check it out. You gotta find ways to have fun during a pandemic, right? So I said, you know, I'm gonna try to grow a full beard. And guess what? When I tried, I was like, wow, look, it's, it's, it's working. And I just have kept it ever since. Here's kind of the progression of how I started getting more and more. And so now I've got this <laughs> and I'm digging it. But you know what I've also got? <laughs> More chest hair, and I already had a lot. Actually, we always make a joke that if I was to like take off my shirt in public, all the children w would run away and scream because it'd be like a Bigfoot sighting. So here's actually some footage of me once when, when, when we were camping and I had to change out in the woods and then uh, that this is me coming out of the woods there. And so, yeah. No, but seriously, I have noticed like a thickening even of my chest hair, the chair, the hair on my stomach. And I know some of you are like, Cohen, this is like way too much information. We do not want to hear about your body hair. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get that. Who does, right? But I gotta look out for my community here. My homies, the guys, the boys. We gotta talk about this stuff. And so yes, notice a bit of a thickening there too. Not really crazy about it, but I don't know. If it means that I also get this thing, then I'm happy. Now, I don't want anybody to watch this and be like, Oh, what? What? TRT will get me a beard? Sweet, I'm in. It might not, okay? There's 38% of people who have not seen a difference at all. So those two factors are going to affect your facial hair growth, time, and testosterone. One or the other, or one and the other, okay? So this is... If this didn't give you the exact answer that you were looking for, if you were looking for a definite yes, it is absolutely going to make you grow a beard if you get on TRT. No, that's just not the case. One third of people, one third of guys aren't seeing a difference there. So, and then also if you're still young yet, just give it some time and you very well could have a beard like that beard model guy, right? So before we get to the ending here, turn that like button blue if you don't mind, I would appreciate it and leave some comments. Heck, leave two comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe even subscribe twice. I'm sorry, what? Oh, they can't subscribe twice? There's one. Okay, okay. Okay, subscribe once then. Just one, one time on the subscription and then they can comment twice. You can comment more than once apparently. Okay, cool. Can they just like, if they have a whole sentence, can they just comment each word? Like, thank, enter you, enter for, enter the vi video. They can do that? Cool. Okay. Okay. I should just keep going. Okay. And listen, let's not also forget just genetics. Okay. Some of us are just not going to have thick body hair, thick facial hair. And some of us are always going to have thick facial hair and thick body hair. Genetics plays a role in it too, doesn't it? Well, I hope this has been a little bit helpful. I appreciate you guys, my community. Thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. Peace.